Hi, this is Rick Adams, and you're watching Customer Success Rants and Musings. And uh, episode 19 asks the question, QBR, EBR, or just BR? So what am I getting at here? Well, the uh, what we're talking about here is business reviews. So should we go for like a, a, a quarterly business review? Is, should it be an executive business review? Should we just call it a business review? What's in a name? Does it matter? Well, um, I used to call them QBRs, and you know, mostly I think they, they're called QBRs. And the idea of a QBR, a quarterly business review, well, first of all, obviously they happen at once per quarter. Uh, and secondly, because it was a business review, they're focusing on business. And the idea is that we're not going to be talking technical. We're not going to be talking sales. We're going to be talking business, which means it's sort of aimed more at the executives. So there we go. So that was that's really what we're talking about is that meeting where we're um, uh, talking about business issues. So I think the first thing we need to ask ourselves, well, what do we mean by a business review? Um, what business is there? Now, my personal feeling, remembering that we are customer success managers. Well, that means we are managers of customer success and customer success means customers getting their outcomes. Okay, so everything that we should be doing as a customer success manager is pointed towards helping the customer achieve their outcomes. So a business review is a review of progress towards customer outcome attainment. That's what it is. If we're not doing that, we're not doing a, we're not doing a business review, we're doing something else. That's not to say there aren't other things that need to be doing, but that is not a business review unless we are talking about progress towards meeting the customer's outcomes. Now, it doesn't mean that though those outcomes stay the same all the time. They're going to change, uh, you know, as, as the customer's needs change, as their strategies change, even as our product changes, certainly as the customer's customer's needs change. OK, so it's it's a moving target. We need to keep in control of what that target is so that we can say, well, you know, the target's moved, but we've also progressed and we are nearer now for example. So that is what a business review is, okay? It's progress towards outcome attainment. What is the right cadence for that? So it can only be a QBR if it happens once per Q, right? Otherwise it can't be quarterly. So I tend not to use the expression QBR anymore. All right, so I've, I've rejected Q. That's not to say that we should not have quarterly as being the right cadence it's just that i don't want to start off by assuming that quarterly is the right cadence and for some customers it isn't for some it isn't and for some customers it is now but it won't be in the future and vice versa so actually what we've got to do is we've just got to be flexible and agile and say well it's a business review how often do, do we need to have business reviews at the moment given the circumstances of, of the engagement where we are right now and then have the right cadence for that particular uh, engagement, whatever that might be. Even if it's weekly, fortnightly, monthly, quarterly, half annually, even annually, whatever is suitable. So you choose the cadence based upon the need. Uh, third item there, who's gonna be invited? Well, it's a business review. So people who care about the, the business aspect. So the people who are responsible for ensuring that the outcomes occur and the people who are responsible for ticking those off. So you know, the, uh, the responsible and accountable people in a, in a racy matrix, <laughs> okay? Yeah, the people who do the work, the people, the people who, who need to check to make sure it is happening. They're the people that care. And so hence, yes, it is executives very commonly. So we want to try and get senior people here. We're going to be talking about outcome attainment. Um, and, and, that, and that depends then in terms of the level, if you like, of how strategic or how tactical the customer's engagement and the, the customer's initiative behind the engagement is. So it may well be that actually, you know what, the right people to talk to about this are technical people in IT, because it's a very, it's a very technical IT initiative that our customer is doing and that no one else is going to understand it or care about it. On the other hand, if it's a broad strategic initiative that's really impacting multiple departments and functions across the entirety of our customer's business, well then, yeah, senior executives should be really passionate about it. So it would be perfectly reasonable to, in, to invite senior execs. So the rule here is, is, well, you know, only invite the people who are interested in the things we're going to be talking about. What are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about outcomes. So if senior execs are interested in the outcomes of this initiative that our product is supporting that's who to invite if not don't invite them 
okay we do not want to have meetings with the senior executives who don't need to have a meeting with us it only annoys them uh, so one size does not fit all is really the overall what you know flavor of what i'm saying here uh, it's not a question that they should always be executive business reviews it's not uh, the case that they should always be quarterly business reviews so i've not i i don't use executive review and i don't use quarterly business review i just call them business reviews and then that gives me more flexibility when i'm talking to the customer i'm going to say right well, i'd like to set up business reviews with you uh, well, obviously we're going to be discussing progress towards your you know attaining your objectives and your goals i don't tend to say progress towards your outcomes to the customer it's not a word that they're interested in to be honest with you yeah their, their goals their objectives their targets okay um so it, it's to keep you know, the senior decision makers in the loop in terms of progress towards target attainment and get their consensus and opinions on on various matters arising where we need them to you know to agree stuff so uh, i want to keep it brief i want to keep it high level i want to be data driven i want to be showing them here's what we predicted here's the actuals here's the differential here's why here's the recommendations that's about it meaningful data there we go so uh that's about business reviews uh i hope that was useful uh please do subscribe if you're interested and uh get uh, chapter one of my book for free if you go to practicalcsm.com uh, that's it for now and i look forward to uh, sharing some insights with you in the future bye for now